Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within with me, Burger. I hope you're all doing well, feeling well, and feeling freaking fresh. Let's go get our mission underway. We do have a UFO, it's just a small scout, crashed down in the South American continent. We'll be heading over, checking it out uh, with the team. We've got Major Antoine Laud, Captain Ivan Dogovich, Major Tom T.K.E. Bender. Captain Shelby Gardner, the Blue Wolf. Miss Jamrock is joining us again today with the Arc Thrower. Hopefully we can get an alien freaking captured today. That would be nice. And Medria Gas back with the team as well. Let's go and launch our mission, ladies and gentlemen. Just a quick little flight. Let's go and get our mission briefing from Bradshaw. What do you got, my friend? We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Oh, I'd say that's fairly apparent. The downed UFO is in a densely populated urban area. We'll need to move in and secure the scene before people start panicking. Alrighty, sounds good. Operation Secret Him. We're going to be singing some songs today. UFO crash site in Argentina. Looks like it's near a diner, actually, so we'll pick up some grub while we're there. Mission objectives. Locate the crash UFO, sweep the area for surviving crew, and neutralize them. Locate and secure meld canisters. Avoid additional damage to the craft, if possible. Some components may be recoverable. Sounds excellent. Fly in on the old Sky Ranger. See what we can see, find what we can find. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Alrighty. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Sounds excellent, Bradshaw. Okay. I want to test something out here, and this is kind of a... I guess this is kind of a game exploit almost. Okay, so Antoine Law treats all cover. He has a perk that treats all cover as um, as full cover. And he also has mimetic skin. So, in theory, he should be able to cloak when moving into partial cover. So let's go and try this out. Is it going to work? Roger that. It is! Yes! Oh, that is so awesome. Antoine Law just become just became the best so let's let's remember that um let's go and get him switched over to his pistol and have him get into overwatch and how do we want to go about this here ufo should be back here if i remember correctly looks like this might be meld maybe a fire of sorts hmm so move less jamrock up here see if we can get eyes in the diner yeah got two mutons in here that uh, do not seem too friendly, but they're going to take a reaction shot real quick from Antoine Laude. Three damage on the crit there. Very good. Unfortunately, he's going to be revealed and flanked now, so we're going to have to take care of this fairly quickly. 20% and 20%. Not the best odds, to be honest with you. Um, and we do need to get the team uh, into better positioning here. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Do have a shot only 21%. I would like to actually suppress him. Um, and that's actually going to suppress both of those mutons over there. So that's actually very good. Um, very good option available to us there. Alright. Mr. Bender. We're going to have you move right there. And I'm wondering, I'm curious... Um, to say the least, yeah, it doesn't look like that's actually going to be available to us. Let's get him an overwatch. See what shakes down. Let's get Miss Gardner moved on over here. And we'll have her hit an overwatch. We just want to get her in the best cover, uh, available. And... We'll just have Medria Gas dash over to this full cover here. Should be okay. Yeah. Alright, let's see what these aliens got for us. One of the mutants is going to hunker down. The other one's going to take a shot at Mr. Dogovich. However, he is going to take a severe aim penalty, shooting into full cover and a suppression. So, a bit beneficial there. Lizzie, what do we got here, girly? We got 1% chance to hit and a 20% chance to hit. I'm not liking either of those odds. Um, Antoine, what have you got for a shot, my man? Got a sniper rifle. Only 15% chance to hit. And you're not in the best of cover, my friend. Um, however, you do treat everything as full cover, so we'll get you concealed, we'll get you moved up, and we'll see what we can do. Um, let's go ahead and get your pistol out. And still only 15%, we're just going to use an overwatch then. Um, I believe that it's going to be our best bet. Now, battery gas is an interesting option, uh, to say the least. I'm going to send her up on the roof 
We're going to attack those fools from up above, um, provided we can get there in time. So hopefully that will work. Let's go and get uh, Tom Bender back into an Overwatch. We're going to move Shelby Gardner here back into full cover, so she'll remain there. 32% chance to hit and a 1%. Let's take that 32% chance. You never know. She is going to get the kill, so that is awesome. And let's go and get Ivan Dogovich into an Overwatch. Still only a 1% chance to hit there. It's very concerning. Let's go and move Liz Jamrock into the diner here. Not going to take any reaction shots since she will be in a full cover. Let's see what this Muton wants to do. It looks like he's actually going to retreat just to scooge, which I'm perfectly okay with. I'm just going to send Medria Gas after him then. Let's go and have her do a running gun. We'll have her get into this vent in the cover. She'll be really close to that meld too if the option does present itself. So just get her into an overwatch with her scatter rifle. And let's go and move Tom Bender up. If anyone can take hits, it's him. So we'll, we'll give it a shot. We'll give it the old junior college try. We'll see how things turn out. Skarner, we'll have you, have you move into some partial cover there. We'll have you hit an overwatch. And Mr. Dogvich, once it gets reloaded. And we'll also move up Miss Jamrock. Now, Antoine Laud, you are the missing puzzle piece, my friend. Let's go and have him head in there. He'll still be concealed. Let's see what this Muton has for us. At the very least, we should be able to get this meld, so that will be a major benefit. Definitely. Alright, meld collected. Excellent. Let's go move Medri up once more. See if we can't get eyes on this guy. Alright, Mr. Bender. Do we want to send you in pursuit? Heading that is the question. Let's go ahead and send him in a bit of a pursuit anyway. I don't think it's going to be very fruitful, but at the same time, never know. Never know. Right. Move. Well, a slow mission thus far. Not much to work with. Okay. All Let's right go and move there. Mr. Dogovich into the into the building here. Just for good measure. And I'd actually like to get Miss Jamrock positioned up next to this door. Just so we can advance um, into the next stage of things. Aye, aye, Move Antoine Lott on up. Get him into an overwatch in case that Muton decides to show his stinky face. It looks like he has actually made quite the run for it. Um, guess we'll see. Yeah, here he comes. He's going to get a reactionary shot from Medri Gas, though. It's going to miss due to the, due the sheer range of things. Um, but that's not too bad. That guy is out of here. <laughs> so I believe we can actually make a fairly safe pursuit uh, if we if we would like. So I think we're going to do just that. Go ahead and move into the next stage of things. So move Miss Gardner up here and assist with the door breach. All right, and we'll get Dogovich. Uh, but let's have him positioned here on this other door. And we'll go ahead and have him open it. See if we can't get a line of sight on anything. No? Okay. That's all right. Let's go and open this door as well. Just to keep things a bit interesting. Mr. Nightmare, we're going to have you run up on this door. Uh, right up next to Tom Bender. Medria Gas. The real X factor of this whole thing. All right, let's get her switched over to her pistol so she can actually hit something from further away than... You know, five tiles, so... Alright, Muton, you're gonna be taking a couple reactionary shots. Straight on shot missed by, uh, Miss Jamrock, unfortunately. That's alright, though. We can work with that. We can work with that. Not the biggest fan of it. Looks like he's just gonna roar. He's not gonna be taking a shot, so... What do we have for a shot, actually? 32% and only 20% for Liz. Let's have That's her move up to this full cover. See if we can't increase our chances just a little bit? No? Let's move Miss Gardner up then. A bit better of an aim factor, a bit better percentage there, and she already does have the luck of, of having that first kill. Let's go ahead and take the shot, see if we can't get a shot. And hitting those improbable shots very, very well. I'm impressed. Let's have Dogovich move on out here. 
We'll just have him overwatch in case anything else decides to show up. Show its ugly face. Alright. Let's get Antoine Laud moved up to this cover here. Still gonna remain concealed. We're just gonna have him overwatch. And let's have Medry Gas move up with him. Hop down off the roof, girly. Alright. And Mr. Bender. Mr. Bender, Mr. Bender. I think I know what I want to do. Let's go and move him up here. What do we have for a shot? 27%. It's happening. Enjoy! Send a little present his way. Kill that freaking Muton. Beautiful work. Now we can begin advancing once again. Just hit an overwatch. We don't want to advance just one soldier just a little bit, so... I prefer to move my team in as a team. Let's go and move in Mr. Bender here. Alright. I think the UFO is off of this direction, so... Just need to decide what we want to do here. Mr. Lodi, you've actually got a fairly good um, vision here. Let's go and toss out a battle scanner uh, just to see uh, what we can reveal before we move any more troops in. What do we got? We do have, I believe, the Outsider. Um, so I'm just going to shift here um, to a few overwatches and we're going to headshot that guy. Um, as soon as possible. We'll advance Ivan a little bit. Uh, we're going to headshot him on the next turn. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh, mother, we have mutons. It is a good thing we had that many overwatches going on. Holy lord. Um, because they're really coming up on us. That is terrifying. And they're going to do a double move, which is excellent um, in my book. So, all right. We are going to switch to our uh, sniper rifle. 100% chance to hit. Let's go and take this fool down. Goodbye, outsider. <laughs> Before it could even form up. Beautiful. Okay, now we need to deal with the real threat here. And what we can do... How close are these guys? Let's see. Oh, man. They're not close together at all. Okay. So that's a bit risque. Let's go and get Mr. Bender in here. See if we can't get some targets in sight for him. 27%. We do have a chance to kill, though. Um, on the first shot. Man. This is this is quite the curveball, guys. Dang. Alright. Um. I'm gonna play this. I wanna play this defensively. We're gonna move Ivan back here into full cover. And we're gonna have him hit up an Overwatch. And I'm going to have Liz hop over here, just an overwatch as well. Heading out. Move Bendry Gas on up. Just an overwatch. And let's have Mr. Bender uh, fall back just a bit. I, I really want to, I don't want to play into the hands of these mutons. So we're just going to let them make the mistakes of walking into our super overwatch lines here. I'm going to take two solid overwatches there. Excellent work. Miss Gardner, Miss Gas. Very good. That's kind of going to deter them. We are going to get a blood call from one of the mutons, and the second one's going to come up here. Going to take a shot at Miss Gardner. Ooh, going to take out that full cover. That is a bit worrisome. All right, Miss Gardner, what do you got? 52% chance to hit. I don't like it. I don't like risking that. Um, so we're going to have you move over into this full cover here. And I'm going to be okay with that. And you're going to go ahead and reload. What else do we have for shots here? 52% and 52. Let's see if we can't get the kill on this guy with our pistol here. Set phaser for kill. It's not going to be successful though. Unfortunately. How far can we chuck these grenades? We can get... Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't get um, another grenade over there to do some damage. Bam! One's going to get killed. It's great. Man. We need to sneak. We need to sneak Miss Jamrock in here. We really do. Let's go and do it. Let's see if we can't get this guy captured. Let's do a couple, little bit of damage. 63% chance to hit. Let's go and do it. Me another damage. It's gonna really, really increase 
um, our potential here. Okay. So this is where it counts. We're just going to get our team into a safe safe zone here. This Muton's going to come up. Get within a uh, single move distance. Let's hope... Okay, Liz is not getting killed. This could be good. This could be really good. Liz, it is your time to shine, my darling. Stun this fool. We've got a 70% chance. Let's see if we can get it done. Yes! Now we can begin preparing for yes! interrogation. Got the muton stunned, Another and that day, is the end of the mission, too. Successful operation. Fantastic. Operation Secret Him is complete. Five aliens killed, one alien stunned, and one of two melt canisters recovered. That is excellent. That is a good mission. I'm so pumped that we captured that guy, and we captured a good one, too, so that is even better. An impressive effort. I'm glad our troops were able to safely acquire more of the meld. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that too, Dr. Valen. Medry Gas also getting promoted to Major, getting extra conditioning, confers bonus health based on which type of armor is equipped. Heavier armor increases the bonus, so she has a ton of health, um, and it's encouraged by it heavy armor. I know it wasn't easy, but this awesome. could really be a turning point in our research. Sweet. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work indeed. Oh, thanks, Dr. Finkland. The container oh. facility are well underway. All right, awesome. And we got some uh, alien goods as well. We got some alien alloys, some flight computers, power sources damaged so we can sell that. Uh, ten melds, some alien alloys, some illyrium, muton captives, some more corpses, an alien grenade, and a light plasma rifle, which is just essentially a plasma um, pistol. Um, so let's go and do some scanning, guys. We'll get some research walking and rolling. Let's go and get this muton... Um, interrogated. Can we not do that? Yeah, we can. Let's go and begin that. Let's see how angry he gets. Oh man, he's mad. He is not happy right now. Let's probe him. Oh. Hey, don't break our stuff. Good grief. Chill, bro. Sheesh. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. Awesome. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely, but when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure. Uh-oh. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Oh, fine, Dr. Van. Jeez, give us more tasks that we can handle. Hey. All right, we do have plasma weaponry research credit earned, so that is excellent. Um, ooh, we could do Titan armor. Titan armor is really good. Could upgrade our ships. Could do the light plasma rifles. Do we want to do that? It's only six days. Or we could let's let's upgrade our heavy lasers. Um, so Ivan Dogovich can get some sweet stuff. Um, so yeah, let's keep on going. Let's go and assign a new construction. General, someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. The real question is, what sort of power or authority does it take to control? I don't know, man. But we're going to get this power generator done, and now we're going to assign new constructions. Uh, so let's go and build some facilities. Um, I would like to build another satellite uplink facility. Man, I would really like to build it up here. That's an additional $40, and we really don't have the time for it, do we? Yeah, we do, actually. Um, so I'm going to get that. Um, we're going to get that excavating, and we're going to build a foundry. Um, and what that will allow us to do is upgrade our current weapons, so that's always awesome. So let's go and resume some scanning here. We do have some panic in Germany, so that's not good. Um, and we do have an exalt operation available in Germany. So let's go to head Dr. to Volant the situation room. Technique certainly is... Efficient. These all bases in a country you can play in civilization. An worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's pick an agent to send over. Um, 
Who do we want to send? Who's that guy? Do we want to send Cowboy over? No. I don't want to send Liz. Let's send Carl Werner over. Let's send badass Kyle Werner on over. Um, let's go ahead and get... Let's make sure um, we can equip him with a laser pistol. Is that available? I think it is. Yeah. Let's go and equip him with a laser pistol. Let's go and get one of these bad boys. They're only six bucks. So, yeah, let's go and do that. Mission control. Or no, that's in the situation room that we have to go for that. Um, covert ops. Covert operation. Carl Werner, where are you? There you are. Let's go ahead and customize this loadout. Let's give him a laser pistol so he's a bit more protected. Oh! Why don't I know what I'm doing? Okay. Send operative on mission. Okay. Alright, good luck, my friend. Best of luck. Alright, four days for heavy lasers. Let's see what we can do here. The lasers is complete, so that is awesome. Heavy laser available for manufacture. Rail guns available for manufacture, as well as a laser cannon. Awesome. Ooh. I believe that has, that's actually for the mechs. Um, so let's go ahead and actually buy one of those, and we'll get that equipped on Mr. Bender. Railgun, 47 bucks, holy lord. Let's go and get that built, though. And let's head up to the gray market, because we actually have some stuff we can sell. Uh, for quite a pretty penny, actually. Uh, bu -bu 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 yeah, that'll be a solid 30 bucks. So, essentially paying for that, um, with, with broken stuff, so... Um, and let's get a heavy laser built for Ivan Dogovich. Beautiful. Um, anything else that we really want to throw on here? Not, not really. We do have the laser cannons available for, um, the Ravens. Um, but for right now, we don't, I, I think we'll be okay. Alright. Council is requesting a direct link on the secure channel. Alright, let's go to the situation room and see what's up. Our sources report a developing incident in Newfoundland up the coast from St. John's. A fishing village has gone dark. Reports from intel sources suggest alien involvement. We should send in a team to investigate the site and figure out what happened. Rewards painter production. We're definitely going to do that because it's fantastic. Uh, but we for right now, guys... That you will handle this matter with discretion. Oh, thank you, Council Chairman. But for right now, guys... We will see you next time. Be sure to like, comment if you would like to join the squad. Leave a first name, last name, and a nickname uh, for the squaddy of your choice. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you have not already. We'll see you next time.